This is my old man's 2009 Yamaha YZ250. He bought it a few years ago in quite a sorry state, but with a bit of elbow grease and about a thousand bucks worth of parts later, it was pretty much good as new. Since then, mostly my older brother and I have been rocking, rallying and rolling it. Unfortunately though, the high standard of maintenance established when we first got it wasn't exactly kept up, particularly by me and my brother. In fact, it's in even worse condition now than when we bought it. Dad paid 4,500 bucks for it back then. Now it's worth maybe four grand, not even. And that gives me an idea. In order to understand my idea though, you're gonna need a quick history lesson. On KTM. You see, in 2005, when emission standards really started to crack down on two strokes and it had become obvious that soon four strokes were gonna be faster anyway, all of the major manufacturers, Honda, Suzuki, Kawasaki, Yamaha, either ceased development of or stopped making entirely their two stroke lineups except for KTM, whose bread and butter was off-road racing. And off-road, four strokes weren't necessarily becoming any quicker. That discipline was more complicated. So they just kept on going, with the market almost entirely to themselves, and slowly, over time, developed the two-stroke engine to where they've got it today, which is fuel-injected, counterbalanced, electric start, highly advanced. And in 2018, they really hit their stride with it, when it sort of became the it bike. Since then, everybody's wanted one, and it's like I say, they own the market, so it can sort of take the piss with their pricing. In fact, a baseline model here in New Zealand costs 17 grand. But what if you took that vast amount of money, bought the $4,000 old Yamaha, and then spent your remaining 13,000 doing it up? Could you, in fact, craft it into a KTM killer. Alright, so first things first, it just needs a bit of a birthday really. We spent about a thousand bucks when we first got it and that pretty much restored it back to near enough brand new condition as it would for any old two stroke in a moderate state of disrepair. So pretty much we're just going to do that again. I've already taken the liberty and what that's got us is firstly a top end rebuild kit. Um, the piston in here's done like a hundred hours so should have probably replaced that a long time ago. Um, a new expansion chamber, these are well worth replacing, they usually take a hit or two over the years and uh, they're elaborate shapes not just for show, it makes use of a phenomenon known as wave dynamics which pretty much reverses the flow of air during the stroke and forces any unburnt fuel backwards into the cylinder at high RPMs in just the right amount and at just the right time so as to supercharge the engine up top in a way that's still controllable and rideable. And the minute those have been bent in or dented up, the precision of that whole process has just gone completely out the window. And if you look closely at this one, you'll see that it's actually touching the frame. Yeah, well, well worth doing. And apart from that, it's just normal wear and tear stuff really that you get with any four stroke as well. Um, the brake discs are all grooved out and the pads are pretty much worn down to the metal. The suspension needs to be ripped apart and serviced. The clutch basket's completely f***ed, so that'll have to be replaced. And uh, while we're in there, we'll do clutch plates and a clutch cable as well. Um, go over all the bearings, replace any damaged ones, and just pretty much check all the little things like that. I think she'll be mint. So, without further ado, I set to work. No mucking about. Oh, that hurt my ass. I'm filming. You know, when you like start wiping and then, um, like you realize there's another log? <laughs> Actually, yes. <laughs> no, but this time I really did get on with it. Working my ass off, too, at the speed of lightning. That's not looking much better. And pretty soon, what hadn't been done in the dark started getting brought to the light. The old girl was clearly in a bad way. 
There was simply only one thing for it. Hi mate, how are you? Good, good. Yeah, I'm working on the YZ at the moment. Um, I've done everything I can, and uh, yeah, yeah, I've pretty much stripped it right down. You able to come around? All right, so thanks, mate. See you in a bit. Bye bye. <laughs> I've never seen you actually riding that before. <laughs> well, I'm only down the road, I might as well. <laughs> With the big dog in town, work pace quadrupled, and we started uncovering a lot more excellent maintenance. <laughs> Look at that. Milky? <Okay>. Yeah. <laughs> Chopping milk instead of oil. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Few secrets. <laughs> but weirdly, in equal measure. Well, that looks good. That looks really good. Running As always, my time at Hogwarts came in handy. Lumos Maxima. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit clean answer, isn't it? Yeah, it's probably like the one bit of maintenance I've done. There it is. <laughs> that's how it should look. <laughs> oh, it's it's almost. <laughs> I'll be damned. That's four a strokes, rebuild. Four strokes so much harder yeah. than the ring part. But yeah. But had we done it right? Yeah, no. Nah. Put her in right. Pretty sure that's what I did. Better hope so. Here's where you need like a special chain master link tool. I obviously don't have one. But there should be a way of doing it. The answer, as it so often is, was neighbour Stevo. You gotta be dead seed. Okay, there we go. This method never fails. Look at that. Wait! <laughs> right here. Yes. Cheers, Steve. Unfortunately, though, he buggered off again after that, and we immediately got stuck once more. This time, more seriously. There's a lot of air coming out of here. Mm. Give it another go, it might have just jammed up a bit. <laughs> just like that. Yeah. I thought we might have had a, a bot ass situation right there. Yeah. Thankfully not. <laughs> this one ain't so I can tell you. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Next up was the clutch, the worst offender. How it was before, you had to hold about a quarter throttle on when stopped, or else it'd stall from all the drag. I was so glad to finally be replacing this, and with YZ250X springs as well, which would give it a lighter pull. Springs the back wheel. Inevitably, at this point, I had an accident. What's up, I had a little sharp. <laughs> and as the day wore on, cameraman Nicola was growing less and less helpful. I can't see anything. <laughs> but the bond between Kynan and I, after all this hard work together, had become something more than just friendship. It looks like you guys are holding hands right now. We get a photo if you want. <laughs> you don't even get photos with me holding hands with you. Yeah, but what's fine enough? Yeah, it's the boys.
<laughs> so, as he departed at the end of the day, job well done. I just put the finishing little touches in place. And then, all that remained was to get out and ride the thing. Oh, it's good to have this thing back out in the field again. Do you know, it's been nine months since it's even been ridden. I was thinking about this last night. Me and my brother are that lazy in repairing it, but look, it's finally back in working order again. Perfect working order, in fact, after all that we've done to it. Still looking a bit rough around the edges, I'll admit, but we'll get to aesthetics eventually, don't worry. Ah, uh, look, here comes Kynan on the KTM. Now, I'll admit that's not actually a KTM, it's a Husqvarna, but there's a good reason for that. KTM own Husqvarna's motorcycle division these days, so for all intents and purposes, that is actually a KTM just with white plastics. They share 99% of the parts with one crucial difference. That thing has a linkage shock absorber, just like the YZ here, so it's actually the better comparison than a true KTM. It stands to reason that this is what we should be trying to compete with. Yeah, she looks a bit better than she used to. It sure does, eh? So what's the plan? Are we just going to swap back and forth and see what's, what's better? Pretty much, just ride the two of them back and forth like you say, and um, yeah, just see where she's still falling short, I guess. Oh, well, that's too easy. Let's get into it. Alright. <laughs> was struck all over again by what an incredible machine these old YZs are. Around this little arena cross track, I could stick a wheel in on Kynan just about wherever I wanted to. And before long, the pressure got to him. Ah, there it goes. <laughs> oh. But should we really be surprised by that? Let us not forget that, in its final year of competition, this bike won Daytona and Las Vegas Supercross. Bit out of practice. Man, I'm out of shape. Yeah. Interesting though, eh? I thought he might be getting around here better than me, especially with this place being as tight as it is. Yeah. This thing was just really good, like, should we switch now? Yeah, can do. You have a ride on it and just see if you yeah. feel what I feel. Oh. Unfortunately though, he didn't experience that same Eureka fairy tale maiden voyage feeling I did. Oh. Oh. And things didn't get that much better when he started moving either. Holy vibration! Oh, we're not stopping with that. In my corner, however. As much as I hate to admit it, KTM have got these things sorted out. Straight away, I was able to go as quickly on this as I was my YZ. Like, hey, got a, lot more to mine than I have a pretty bad omen considering, well, this isn't even what the Husqvarna was designed for. Like, at all. Time to come in and pretend that it wasn't that great. I was amazed at the difference. Like your bike's so much more like riding a four-stroke. Yeah. Uh, even just the chassis feels like a four-stroke. Yeah. The thing I really noticed was this straight here, the, the whoops where you're trying to accelerate. Oh yeah. On that, I'm like rant, rant when I've got grip. Oh yeah. Getting the power to the ground, or else it'd be. True, all yeah. over the shot, whereas I, this I just held it noted and let the front, the rear wheel bounce and True. it just hooked up the whole yeah. way. 
so interesting um, yeah completely different bikes that's for sure with the expansion chamber fixed on that finally yeah it's got some power yeah yeah a pip is probably holding it back quite a bit being so dented that's for sure yeah like that i remember i used to hop on this thing and think man this thing's fast yeah no nah, that thing's yeah. faster it's hard to say eh? but or maybe it just feels it because it's more aggressive yeah but... it's definitely more aggressive it's, it didn't come into the power as snappy as i expected though that's... No, it's still a ride eh? yeah but like it's a bit of a stupid comparison because even though this thing's really held its own we're we're in that thing's domain yeah and if we're going to beat this it needs to be in its domain yeah so i don't know what so we grab some water and hit the trees yeah hit up the hills all right sounds good let's do it so that's exactly what we did where my honeymoon phase with the newly repaired yz was brutally murdered Getting old fast. Sure again. Sake. The Yamaha was out of its comfort zone here, and not in the same way that Husky had been on the arena cross track. It could climb all right. But that was about it. And whenever you got stuck, it pretty quickly went back to being crap again. See? I have to do something else because I cannot start it from that position. Oh, you frickin' electric star haters, what do you have to say about that? Time to find out how the other half lives. All right, let's see how the Husqvarna goes in the bush. Well, that felt good. And the good feelings continued too. This bike, by comparison, was a couch. Just so easy to ride. was obvious that we had a lot of work ahead of us before the YZ would be anywhere near this good. Which, if I'm being honest, did worry me a bit. So once I was sure that Kynan couldn't see, I thought I'd try and level the playing field a bit. Oh. me, sorry Kynan. I've never done that before. Yet. Still, at least Kynan's turn on the YZ didn't go much better. Oh. So with that, we decided to cut our losses there and go in search of some flatter terrain for now. Just so much harder to ride, eh? So bouncy with me on it. The engine's like not actually too bad, like just a flywheel weight and it'd be good. Seems to like actually make good torque down low too. Yeah, yeah, it's got a lot of torque. Yeah.
It's actually pretty weird how well the YZ can handle these more flowy trails in its stock form if I'm being completely honest. I was starting to have a lot of fun on it here, but then the steepness returned. Second or third. Probably third. No tractor. Fortunately, I'm an experienced rider, so was easily able to turn around in this tricky spot. Stop! Jokes aside, when it's actually scary to go back down the hill like this for another attempt, that's when you know the hill's pretty gnarly. Oh my God. Okay. Having sort of conquered this one, we bravely ran away. Not today, I don't think. To discuss our findings. Well, two things really, suspension and just the kickstart, man. I can't kickstart it. That's yeah, for sure. I struggle. It's freaking hard. And you seem to be stalling it a lot as well, which yeah. is obviously makes the kickstarting thing a whole lot worse. It's just like one little back wheel lock and it stalls and if there's not enough grip to immediately crash start it. Then you gotta stop and... It's like the most depressing okay. feeling known to humanity. And then I just cruise past. Well I got stuck on that hill when I was nearly at the top. If you had the button you would have just been able I to... couldn't start it so yeah. I had to... I think from where I was I could have kept going like if I started it and pushed. Yeah. But I had to like turn and zigzag and ride over a bush and crash into a tree and all the rest of it to get up purely because while my bike was like this, it was impossible to start yeah, it without it no rolling back down the hill. Stop it from rolling down the hill while kicking it. Yeah, so I had to, I had to wheel it around and even then because I was on this side, the hill like that. Oh, you're like uphill with the starter. Uh, yeah, yeah, I had to hop off the bike and start it with my, yeah, with my other foot. <sighs> it's bloody annoying. Well, as recently as 2020, for the first time in the 15 years since this delineation of the famous Yamaha YZ250 two-stroke was released, a fix for that enduro conversion specific issue has finally become available.